Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW. Well, as you may know, I like to be creative and I like to draw and paint and look for new ways to express that creativity. And when I saw the deal of the day on Amazon, it was the $40 pack of 80 gel pens for $14. I said, well, now that's a lot of gel pens. I mean, but they came in these containers, which really, you can't store them in. So I'm like, hey, any excuse to make a box or storage, you know, I'm into. So I figured I will go ahead and use some of this uh, pallet wood that I got recently. Quite a bit of it, and it's sort of kind of uh, rough on one side and not on the other. And it'll also give me an excuse to use the little angle finder here. So what I do is I start by lifting up the uh, blade as high as it can go and then angling it at, uh, well on this side it would be 30% because what, 30 degrees times 6 pieces would be 180 and that would make a complete circle. So just make sure you set it to 30 degrees on the dot. So because it's rough sawn on one side I decided just to run it through the planer to get you know the markings off. And uh, after I did that, you know, it really was decent looking lumber. For this being pallet wood, I mean, you, you can't beat the quality, but there's not a knot in it, and it really looks great. So this will make nice for uh, a, a nice little hexagon box. You'll see here that I like to use the uh, mag switch. Uh, it's a, a feather board that you use that attaches with magnets to the table saw. It's a nice way of having a feather board and make it adjustable, it's sort of universal. But uh, I use that, it makes things a little safer and a little easier to cut. You're seeing me getting the angles just right there because you want ultimately to have the two sides sloping inwards because that's how you'll make your hexagon. Uh, just get the angles right. So I'm going to just go ahead and grab the pens so I can get an idea how deep I want it to be. And I figured I'd like them popping up through the edge. So I just use those as sort of a, uh, you know, a way of measuring how tall I want the box to be. All right. So I made a little stop block there so I can do some repeat cuts. And I went ahead and made six or seven cuts. I need six of them in total, but I made a few extras. All right, from that I got six good ones and have some spare, so I think I'll make a little small one. So most people have seen this clamping method before, but I like to lay down my uh, blue painter's tape and line these up as perfectly as I can end to end. Use the wood glue and use the uh, tape as a clamping method and it holds it the tightest. I don't know of a better way to clamp a hexagon or a round circle. And I'll let it set up and make sure everything's even before I do that. One more piece for good measure.
So ultimately, I ended up making two of these. Uh, this is my original prototype, and this is what I ended up coming up with. Now this one, as you see, has a angle cut into it. And the reason I did that is instead of it sitting like this, I can have it sit like this to put my pens in. And I like that idea. I might end up doing that with this, or I may make another one altogether. But they haven't been finished. This one's very rustic wood, which some people like that. You know, if you're cool and into that, just finish it the way you want. I'm going to probably hit this with some black spray paint. But um, just a couple different designs. This one was a little large. This one is about the right size, but you can certainly scale this down to about half of that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. Those are a couple ideas. And uh, this is Chris from TDW, and I'll see you on the flip side.